Welcome back to Behind the Lines, I'm Graham Knight. This past Saturday, the Coast Guard Bears debuted a new uniform dedicated to the crew at Station 17. Station 17 was set on Pea Island in North Carolina back in the 1800s. It's an absolutely fascinating story and one we're going to do a much deeper dive into in a future program. For now, we want to set the stage and let you know what Station 17 meant to the Coast Guard and what it meant to the team this past Saturday. I want to talk to you a little bit about Station 17. I didn't realize until after I spoke with you after the game uh, that you gave a pep talk about Station 17, both before the game and after the game. And I'm wondering if you would mind sharing with me a couple of things. One, uh, anything you can share from that talk and what does Station 17 mean to you? Well, basically, I don't think I don't think a lot of guys knew the story. And so a lot of them, I mean, they look at those uniforms and they were just, you know, happy. We got new swag, you know. Um, but I wanted to make sure that the story is not lost in the uniforms. The U.S. Life Saving Service. Station 17. P. Allen, North Carolina, the graveyard of the Atlantic. Formed in 1871 to ensure safe passage of Americans and international shipping and to save lives in salvage cargo. These seven men at Station 17 were the first life saving service in the country to have an all black crew. Station keeper Richard Etheridge led the crew through rigorous training and held them to the highest standard. They were always ready to make a rescue. Called into action in 1896, these men were tasked with the rescue of a schooner in the middle of a storm. They successfully rescued the passengers aboard the ES Numi. A hundred years later, the crew was awarded the National Gold Life Saving Medal for saving all hands aboard the ES Numi. Honor, respect, and devotion to duty. These men lived out these values every day. This year, we honor their heroics. All right, there you have it. That's just a quick glimpse into the uniform that's dedicated to the crew from Station 17. In a future broadcast, we're going to bring you a more robust story about the station and about that crew. Just a note, the Coast Guard Bears will be wearing that uniform four more times this season. We'll be back with more Behind the Lines right after this.